Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 20th. Now, we know the 20th is the new moon, right? So we're probably feeling the new moon energy right now. Um, so this is kind of going to be like a new moon reading, another new moon reading. I already did one. I'll tag it to the end. I just want to say thank you to all of you that joined my uh, Dear Diary series on uh, my other channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing one every single day. I'm going to do a diary, maybe two, maybe two, um, one to two, one to two videos a day um, based on, you know, a just Dear Diary that speaks for itself, right? So anyway, if you haven't checked it out, you know give it a look it just goes over my life dear diary it's a dear diary segment anyway let's get started what do we have for around the 20th it's going to be an emotional day because i just saw the queen of cups so the queen of cups is very emotional expressing feelings it's probably going to be a lot of feelings all over the place um you may be receiving intuitive messages messages psychic messages um very very a need to be calm a need to uh, listen to your heart express yourself uh, try not to hold it in okay now I see the nine of cups <laughs> which is wish fulfillment now now the nine of cups is things looking up things getting better happiness um, wishes wish fulfillment um, somebody walks away into wish fulfillment the nine of cups leads to the ten of cups which is extreme happiness uh, interesting. So what do we have for around the 20th? Very emotional. Nine of Cups and Queen of Cups is definitely emotions. Um, it could be happiness. You know, just being a happy, happy place. Could be. Let's see what we got here. Clouds. Temporary problems. And it's interesting because right before as I was shuffling these this round deck I saw a bear so a bear uh oh something just fell over too anyway a bear and I just said uh oh every word that comes out of my mouth is, a, is part of this reading a bear is danger danger so I don't know what that means now nine of cups can also be about ego somebody you know that is has it all you know and is egotistical and just wants more so let's see what we got here Clouds, temporary problems. So there's probably going to be some temporary problems on this day. And temporary is is means temporary. Okay, they come and they go. It's kind of like clouds, right? What clouds? They come and they go. So there could be some temporary problems on this day. Um, maybe it's setbacks or something like that. What do we have for around the twentieth? Oh, Wheel of Fortune reverse. This is definitely a setback. Okay, this is a step backwards. Okay, it is. The, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, a step back. So there's going to be a setback of some sort. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is an unfortunate event. Okay, so I mean, it is what it is. And that one jumped, so. Nine of Cups. No way. Ah, oh, all right. Well, I just, you know, I just said before I pulled these cards, you could rewind it. I said there's going to be a setback. I mentioned the Nine of Cups. Yeah, whatever. Maybe we just shouldn't use the cards anymore. I don't know. Nine of Cups. Now, this Nine of Cups, this person seems to be definitely sitting very pretty, has a lot. Um, very, very comfortable. Uh... He, he, he's the, he's saying, look at what I have. This is somebody who he definitely is egotistical. Look at what I have. Take a look at that. He's 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 showing somebody what he has. Um, you see his hand. He's like, look at what I have. I've I've got it all. This is somebody who definitely is egotistical. Is a show off. So we definitely have a show off here. I'm gonna be buying a new camera next week. Another one. Um, but anyhow. Um, this is a show off it absolutely is this is somebody that is very very materialistic that is a show off i don't know where how why this says prb 
but maybe we have some initials like that. Um, could be anywhere in somebody's name, may have nothing to do with it. Um, somebody may be trying to sell something. This guy may be trying to sell sell something. Beware, okay, beware, because this may not be good. It may not be good. Um, hmm. It appears that this person has a lot to offer. Definitely a show-off. Not good. Not good with that Wheel of Fortune reversed. Okay, that is bad luck. It is definitely bad luck. It's not a good time. It's not. And this could be past mistakes coming back to haunt somebody. This is somebody that is egotistical. Could be one person. Could be somebody else. This is a very egotistical individual that, you know, is a show-off. This show-off may be getting the setback. May be having a... This is an unfortunate loss. Everything seems to be really, really good. Look at all that you have it all. Well, it could be taken away with this Wheel of Fortune reversed. It absolutely this is an unfortunate, horrendous loss. The devil. Oh my freaking God. This is a disaster. This person is very materialistic. Very, very, very. We have a very materialistic individual here who is very shallow and has a humongous ego. Seriously. This is an extremely big ego. Okay. This is a disaster. Okay. This is a... Uh, needing to break free from ego, needing to let go of ego. Uh, things have been getting worse. This person's chip on their shoulder may have been getting worse. This is, you must free yourself. You must, you must, you must. And you notice now what we have, we have say eight cups. This is like half a cup. Eight cups, you have to walk away. You have to walk away from a codependent situation. And it could be Somebody may be in a karmic or situation that is um, unhealthy. There, and this could be addictions, whatever it is. Uh, this person is uh, pretending because the devil is ruled by the shadow. Okay? And when I get a card in reverse, it can absolutely mean extremes. Extremely... Uh, false okay somebody is really 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 pretending uh, to be somebody's wish or dream because this is wish somebody is pretending to be somebody's wish it's not a good time I wouldn't do it okay there's some and this is a great temptation very this somebody is being tempted by the devil okay and I don't care if it's reversed or not they're being tempted by something that looks really really good but I have to tell you all is not as it seems it's really not okay it's really 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 not so I would have to say that this is going to end in disaster with these two cards. This will end in disaster. Okay, this is an unfortunate accident and that is the truth. It's not a fortunate accident, it's an unfortunate accident. This individual is portraying themselves to be, uh, to have it all. Okay, look at me, ha 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 ha. Well, ha 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 ha. Um, let's just see what happens. This is parting ways. This party is over. There ain't nothing to celebrate here. There could be some gossip. There could be a third party that is revealing something. Okay? This is this is a third party situation. Okay? This is competitiveness. And this is that party is over. The party is absolutely positively over. Um, this is parting ways from the third party. Or parting ways from a friendship. Parting ways from the family. Uh, there's a lack of emotional growth here. Somebody may have involved themselves in a third party with an individual that pretended to be, you know, available or pretended something. They're definitely pretending here. 
And this is negative repetitive patterns. And this is temptation and it is lust and it is greed. And this is greed as well. So somebody, you know, got themselves into a very unhealthy situation, probably with a third party. They're probably dealing with somebody who told them everything they wanted to hear. And it was it was bad timing, it was karmic, it wasn't meant to be, but this person was a salesman. Remember, I said he was a seller. This is a salesman, can, can sell anything. Somebody, somebody was sold a fantasy. Okay, the devil is fantasy. Now they're about to be sold a fantasy. We have a salesman right here. We do. We have a salesman that is selling something that is uh, not all that it is cracked up to be. Put it that way. This is a. This will lead to sadness. It will. It won't last. It will not last. It won't last long at all. It's not meant to be. This is a negative, repetitive pattern. Somebody keeps repeating it over and over and over again. And it's because of codependency reasons, because they don't want to be alone. So because they don't want to be alone, they, they involve themselves in a third party or they don't ask enough questions. It looks good, so they get themselves involved and there's going to be some regrets here. There is, there's going to be some regrets for not digging deeper. Ah, the hero font reversed. Ah, this is somebody who has a hard time doing the right thing. This person, whoever the person is, doesn't care. They don't, they're not very spiritual. They're in a commitment or a relationship where they're not on the same page with their partner. Okay? And therefore, they're looking for an ego boost. Somebody's looking for an ego boost. I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't do it if I was you. You're going to be, you're going to end up crying. Somebody's going to end up crying because there's a third party here. There's a commitment with a third party. There's, or somebody's in love with somebody else or something like that. Now, this, this hero font reverses an individual that is under a lot of social pressure that is, um, isn't really committed. Okay. Isn't going to commit. Um, it's probably, like I said, in a relationship with somebody else. That's why we have a third party here. Um, this is disgraced. He's probably questioning his authority and looking for the ego boost. So somebody is looking for an ego boost. Oh, God. This is bad luck, the very first card out. Bad timing, bad luck. It is bad luck. We ha and this is like desperation. We have a desperate individual here. That is looking for wish fulfillment with a player. This is a salesman. Move on. My advice is to move on. Six of Swords. Let's move on. Don't 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 be don't involve yourself in a competition. Whoever let's look at this. Whoever you are dealing with, um, I think has a family. Probably has a you know a husband or a wife and a child. Now this reading won't be for everybody. Let me change this up a little bit. We have an unfortunate event. This is for somebody else. Okay, that's one story that I just told. This is an unfortunate event. Taking a step back. This it could be the end of a commitment. Moving away. This party is over. It's cleanup time. I gotta clean up this mess. This is a separation. It's breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation and going someplace else. And maybe it starts out with the first story and we reach this point where, you know, this doesn't, this isn't no long-term commitment. Whoever, the, the relationship isn't on a sa the same page, you know, uh, it was just built on materialism or sex or codependency or whatnot. This is leaving. This is leaving. This is leaving it behind. Okay. It wasn't meant to be. Something is not meant to be, but we, we definitely have a codependent person here who, 
is fantasy. You know, this devil is fantasy, all about fantasy and doesn't see through the fantasy. So somebody was misled. They were sold uh, a fantasy. But this is moving on. This is absolutely moving on. Going to a better place, getting out of here. Uh, and then maybe somebody maybe somebody may be coming to take somebody away. It's like they're coming to the rescue. It could be a family member or another person is is coming to, you know, take somebody away. Take them to a better place, away from the uh, person that involve them in well this is toxic behavior this is unhealthy this caught what maybe they were a slave you know they treated them like a slave king of cups could be dealing with the pisces cancer scorpio it doesn't have to be we also have capricorn here we have taurus here Now this is putting going right here. Somebody is headed. They are headed towards. This is uh, the King of Cups. Is somebody that does have good intentions. This is somebody that is very emotional. This is uh, somebody that has a big heart, looking for love. But this person was looking for love. This is headed towards an individual that is. This could be emotional support. This is a lover. Okay, the King of Cups is a lover that is very charming and romantic but all is not as it seems somebody is breaking free from this person because the devil is right here okay somebody is breaking and it doesn't have to be a water sign it can be any sign in the zodiac this is an energy so we have an individual that is moving away from somebody that pretended because the devil is pretending I don't care in extreme in reverse okay they are breaking free from somebody that really pretended to love this is like a this is somebody who really is skilled at you know being romantic okay this is somebody that is very romantic and, and knows how to be romantic so and this could be a man or a female okay um, this is moving away four of cups not interested anymore somebody is is not interested they're not interested and and f because the five of swords comes before the six of swords, they've been fighting, they've been playing, they they've been belittled, they've been betrayed, they've been uh, it's been a constant battle. It's, there's been a lot of power struggles with somebody that is very authoritative, and uh, really isn't planning on uh, sticking around. This person really sold themselves to be a lover, though. They really, really... You notice how I said, oh, this is somebody who has good intentions. Well, that's what I thought. Ding, 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 ding. So, yeah. No, this person doesn't have good intentions. This is toxic. It's unhealthy. Okay? This person is in a deep, dark place. And my advice is to get the hell out of there unless you're looking for trouble. This person, Page of Cups in reverse, this is somebody that is probably not available for love. This person is emotionally unavailable. This person is unavailable emotionally. This person lacks emotion. But they sell it really well. This is a fantastic salesperson. So somebody is going to be sold a fantasy. Or they were. And I think they've been in some sort of troubled situation where they are probably now breaking free. This is freedom. It really is. It's breaking free. And moving away. Going someplace else. Leaving it all behind not going to be controlled this the the ten of or the ten which is the end of a chapter the wheel of fortune that's the end of a chapter it's the end of a cycle it is something didn't work out 
it didn't work out or it's not going to work out it's gonna it's gonna come across as a dream come true true okay this was your this is what you asked for this was your wish this person is going to I mean, think about a salesman this is what you're looking for no it's not So anyway, be prepared to experience some turbulence, okay? Because there is turbulence here with them clouds, okay? Um, you know, when it rains, it pours. So it's probably going to get pouring. It's going to start pouring, okay? And I think it's, 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 uh, uh, somebody's getting out of a commitment, okay? They're getting out of a commitment. It's like you were committed to this fantasy. This is breaking free. This is parting ways. It is. There is somebody that is parting ways from an individual that, you know, seemed, seemed to have really good intentions. But it's not true. It's not true. It's not. So be prepared, you know, to uh, hear about it or something like that or if it's in your life I mean that wheel of fortune reversed is a setback it's 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 not a good time to start it's not a good time to start anything new something's not going to work out it's just not a good time whoever this person is isn't ready okay they're not ready they're only looking for an ego boost they're they're probably uh, still communicating with the third party you know whatever or they were when they when you got involved with them <laughs> whatever it is it is uh, that wheel of fortune is the first card out and it is reversed that is a shocking unpredictable loss this is not listening to the gut the hierophant reverse somebody didn't listen to their gut they did it anyway because it looked the devil makes it look so good or it felt so good in the beginning this person sold the perfect dream. So anyway, the message, what's the message for the 20th? The message is there's going to be problems with this relationship. There's going to be some problems. There's going to be some stormy weather by the looks of things. Five of wands. Five of wands. So this is a competition. It's playing games. Putting up a fight. There's going to be a fight. This is like a fight. There's going to be a fight. This is the dispute, drama, sparring, in-house fighting. So be prepared, there's gonna be a fight. Good luck.